The dusty site behind me might not look like much at first glance. A tall smokestack, water tower, and piles of rubble remain of a 19th century paper mill that was later converted to a successful textile plant in Bath, South Carolina. The loom stopped and 450 employees of Bath Mill lost their jobs in 1985. Twelve years later, the giant mill building was demolished. Beneath brick heaps, concrete slabs, and thick kudzu vines, one man, who was born just three blocks from here, has unearthed the rich history of a mill that once sustained a lively company town. Now this place right here where we're standing at started in 1762. There was a family of Germans that settled in Beach Island and they got a land grant here. So they came at this site here and built a grist mill and they got it started there. Now that was before Aiken County and before Edgefield County. That was, before, that was Edgefield District. And then it went from there to 1800s, it went to a sawmill. In the 1850s, it went to a paper mill, which was the first paper mill on the East Coast, the largest paper mill in the Confederacy. And they made paper right here that had CSA watermarks on it, and it was took the Columbia, South Carolina and wagons and stamped Confederate money out of it. Where the old company store was at was actually the original building for the paper mill from the middle 1800s. At that time, we started digging. We started finding underground rooms and underground tunnels. Still got some we haven't got into yet. You Right now, you stand inside of a building that we have no idea how far back it goes. This is the building that had the paddle wheels in there that the water came from the canal through there to give them power. Now, whether it goes all the way back to the 1700s for the grist mill or whether it went for the paper mill, we have no idea yet. Last year, Mr. Jones, the uh, current property owner, gave me the uh, opportunity to go into the tunnel behind us here. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, about three feet of standing water in it, so I was able to get in, wade it um, back about 90 feet. It's all made of riveted steel. Uh, rounded about 10 feet high. It goes back about 90 feet to 100 feet. It makes a 45 degree angle. It goes about another 30 feet and it's been concrete blocked off uh, for safety. But uh, you know this tunnel would have been built in the late 1880s. Uh, you know the guys were working here again built about two stories underground having to move all the dirt to, to build this tunnel and it would have come off uh, Horse Creek which then would have traveled a, a more southerly direction and would have went under what was the old bath uh, paper mill at the time. So they kind of diverted the tunnel to bring it under the 1890, uh, for the 1890 mill. When I was uh, a boy and all, this was, a, this was the place. I mean, at, when they shut down, if I remember correctly, they had around 500 employees here. This was the place. I mean, everything went on here. The houses were kept up by the uh, companies. You just worked. And like they took my mother out of school when she was 13, put her in here 10 hours a day, six days a week. A dollar and a half a week. I mean, you made big money. <laughs> so, which was better than the old paper mill. Now back in the middle 1800s when you had the paper mill, they worked 35 employees, 25 men and 10 women. Now, the women, now let me back up and say the men, made $35 a month. It does not say how many hours a day they worked, but they made $35 a month. The women, in turn, made $10 a month. I mean, so it was a big deal. You worked here, you made big money. All right, if you were working for the cotton mill, they pretty well owned you. In other words, uh, if you'd ask the people that worked back then, they had their own money, called boogaloos. If they uh, owed you $3, they gave you $4 of their money. And they, uh, you could only spend it at their company store. Now the company store, the top floor was a movie theater and dance hall. Side of it was a post office, and side of it was a barber shop. Everything you did in this community, you did right here at the mill, because everything was here. And that was your life. If you lost your job, you had seven days to move out or else they went down and sent a crew and moved your furniture in the yard and your neighbors could just help themselves. So I'd like to live long enough to get it cleaned up and find out what's all underground. And that's what my intentions are. 
once I get it cleaned up, DHEX is going to inspect it and check the grounds and stuff, and then they'll tell me what I can actually use it for. Ain't no telling what's underground under here.